You oversleep by 5 minutes, miss your bus, take an Uber. Instead, chat with a driver who tells you about a new restaurant. You try it a week later, and boom, you meet someone who changes your life. That's the everyday flavor of what people call the butterfly effect. But here's the thing, in science, the butterfly effect isn't just a motivational meme. It's a real mathematically grounded phenomenon born out of chaos theory. The story begins in the early 1960s with a meteorologist named Edward Lorenz at MIT. He was trying to model the weather using a primitive computer think less powerful than your kid's Nintendo Switch. At that time, most scientists believed that if you had the right equations and enough computing power, you could eventually predict weather weeks or even months ahead. The atmosphere was seen as complicated but ultimately knowable like a giant clock that just needed the right gears measured. Lorenz typed in a set of equations to simulate atmospheric convection. One day, he reran the program but rounded one input from 0.5061227 to 0.506. In human terms, that's like misplacing a grain of sand on a beach. But to Lawrence's surprise, the new simulation didn't just drift a little. It veered into a completely different weather pattern. This tiny rounding error launched what we now call chaos theory, the study of how small differences in initial conditions can produce vastly different outcomes in nonlinear systems. Lawrence famously asked in a 1972 talk, does the flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil set off a tornado in Texas? The metaphor stuck. The image of a delicate insect influencing a massive storm captured both the fragility and the power of chaotic systems. But let's strip away the poetry and look at the science. The butterfly effect arises in non-linear, dynamical systems where outputs don't scale linearly with inputs. Think of a straight line double the input, double the output. That's linear. But in non-linear systems, doubling the input might triple the output or twist it sideways or flip it upside down. Weather is a prime example. It's governed by the Navier-Stokes equations, which are notoriously non-linear. That means small differences in temperature, pressure, or humidity can snowball into completely different weather events. Here's the core in chaotic systems. Initial conditions matter enormously. Scientists call this sensitivity to initial conditions. Mathematically, two starting points that differ by a hair's breadth diverge exponentially over time. If you plotted them, they'd start almost overlapping, then split apart until they're unrecognizably different. This isn't just theory, it's visible in real-world systems. Try watching a double pendulum, a pendulum, with another pendulum attached at its end. Start it swinging twice from almost identical positions. At first, the motions match, but soon they diverge wildly, one flailing left while the other whirls right. Both obey Newton's laws perfectly, but their paths look unpredictable because tiny initial differences grow exponentially. That's the butterfly effect in miniature, and that's why weather forecasts lose reliability after about 7 to 10 days. It's not because meteorologists are lazy, it's because the atmosphere itself is chaotic. Lawrence showed that no matter how good your equations are, if your initial data is even slightly imperfect, and it always is, your long-term predictions will will eventually go haywire. That's the scientific butterfly effect in action. But the butterfly effect isn't about randomness, it's about deterministic chaos. That phrase sounds contradictory, but it means the system follows strict rules, deterministic equations, yet still produces outcomes that look unpredictable because of extreme sensitivity. And here's where it gets beautiful. Lorenz discovered something called the Lorenz Attractor, a strange butterfly-shaped structure in phase space, the mathematical map of a system's possible states. If you plot the evolution of Lorenz's equations, the trajectory loops endlessly in two swirling wings never repeating, but never escaping. It's bounded unpredictability, a pattern hidden inside chaos. And yes, it literally looks like a butterfly. Nature has a sense of humor, so the butterfly effect isn't magic. It's not saying one insect can flap its wings and directly cause a hurricane. It's saying that in systems like the atmosphere, small perturbations amplify through nonlinear feedback until the final outcome is unrecognizable. It's about the fragility of predictability, and that lesson ripples far beyond weather. Biologists see butterfly effects in ecosystems wipe out a keystone species, and the whole food web reshuffles. Economists see it in markets, a tiny change in interest rates can cascade into global financial turbulence. Engineers see it in complex machines where one microscopic defect causes catastrophic failure. Even in your body, a single DNA mutation can trigger profound changes. The science tells us that the butterfly effect is the signature of complex nonlinear systems, and our world is full of them. Which brings us to the deeper question, if chaos is everywhere, can we ever control or predict the outcomes? Or is life inherently unpredictable beyond a certain horizon? That's where the second half of our story takes flight. But here's the deeper twist. The butterfly effect isn't just a curiosity of weather or a neat classroom demo with pendulums. It forces us to rethink how science itself approaches prediction control and certainty. For centuries, Western science carried the assumption that if you knew the rules and the starting point, you could forecast the future indefinitely. Newton's laws turned the universe into a giant clockwork machine, predictable, precise, and mechanical. But Lorenz and chaos theory shattered that illusion. Take weather again. Meteorologists have become masters at short 
short-term forecasting thanks to satellite supercomputers and constant data streams. You can trust a three-day forecast with pretty high accuracy, but push it to 10 or 15 days and uncertainty balloons. That's why airlines and farmers hedge bets with probabilities, not certainties. Even the best models can't escape chaos initial errors double roughly every five days. It's like a rumor on social media the longer it spreads, the less it resembles the original message. Now expand this idea to climate. Some people confuse weather chaotic short-term with climate long-term statistical patterns. The butterfly effect doesn't mean we can't predict climate trends. It means we can't know the exact path of every storm. Climate models deal with averages warming trends, sea level rise shifts and rainfall. The distinction matters because critics sometimes misuse the butterfly effect to dismiss climate science. But in truth, the unpredictability of weather and the predictability of climate are two sides of the same chaos coin. The butterfly effect also bleeds into other sciences. In biology, ecosystems are notorious for sensitivity. Remove wolves from Yellowstone and deer populations explode, grasslands vanish, rivers erode. Reintroduce wolves decades later and the entire landscape reshapes. One species' presence or absence ripples through food webs in ways nobody could have forecast in detail. That's an ecological butterfly effect. A small change in a predator alters the fate of forests and streams. In medicine, the principle shows up in genetics. A single mutation in DNA, a letter swapped in the three billion letter code can transform an organism's development. Sometimes it's subtle, sometimes it's a disease. Occasionally, it's an evolutionary advantage. Evolution itself thrives on butterfly effects. Tiny mutations amplified over generations shape the diversity of life. In economics, traders live with butterfly effects daily. A minor policy, tweak a rumor about interest rates or a glitch in one bank's algorithm can cascade into global market turbulence. The 2008 financial crisis had roots in subprime mortgages, a small corner of the U.S. housing market, but the ripple nearly sank the global economy. And let's not forget technology. Consider the internet a single line of faulty code can open a cybersecurity hole that hackers exploit worldwide. Or think about AI systems a slight tweak in training data can bias an algorithm in unexpected ways. Engineers often talk about robustness precisely because chaos lurks in the details. But does this mean we're powerless? Not at all. Chaos theory doesn't kill prediction. It reframes it. Instead of pretending we can know exact futures, scientists embrace probabilistic forecasting. Think of hurricane tracks. Meteorologists don't draw a single line they show a cone of possibilities. That cone widens with time, reflecting growing uncertainty. It's an honest way to handle chaos not by denying it, but by quantifying it. In fact, sensitivity can sometimes be harnessed. Physicists call this control of chaos. By applying tiny nudges at the right moments, you can steer chaotic systems without brute force. In engineering, this insight has been used to stabilize lasers, improve heart rhythm therapies, and even design spacecraft trajectories. In other words, butterflies aren't just threats, they can be allies. If you know when and where to intervene, the philosophical implications are just as fascinating. The butterfly effect forces humility. It reminds us that the world isn't infinitely predictable, no matter how powerful our computers get. Think of it this way. Newton gave us a universe like a ticking clock. Lorenz showed us it's more like jazz structured, but improvisational, where one unexpected note can change the whole song. And in that music of chaos, every flap of a wing matters.